Yeah, uh, it's time for the Dark Lord. Yes. Um, so, yeah. Last week, we finished the King's story. It was all done. Uh, it ended up mostly being kind of just grinding at the end so they can actually get to the final mission and win. But today, today, uh, we get to see the other side of it. Let me just get it going. It was it was working earlier, so uh, let's uh, hope it still is. Because uh, oh, that's going to be embarrassing. Ah. Ah. Yes, yes, here we are. Okay, we're here with the sort of sequel, it is a sequel, really, to My Life as a King, but it's a completely different genre. Much like My Life as a King was a completely different genre to Crystal Chronicles. And, you know, now we're here. I did a little bit of a test run earlier, so there's a save already existing, but we're not going to use that one. We're just going to start afresh. Whoops. Wrong button. Oh! Ah. Someone noticed. Someone noticed that. Yes, I slipped that in recently. Nobody noticed last week. No, not last week. Last stream. But they noticed today. Time to sh All right, well. Hello. Ah! Are you live? Yes. Hello, everyone. Hello, it's Pank. It's Pank. I just wanted to check in on you and see uh, how, uh, how school coming along. Uh, it's, it's, things are going good, uh, I just, somebody just now, for the first time, noticed I put the Captain Redeem on, and it's Ooh. just got redeemed. Ooh. Oh, hell. Was it Mary? No, it was Panda. Panda Bibble. Well. Oh, and, and, and the wheel too? The wheel's here as well, but, uh, this is, I can only do one thing at a time. Okay. So. I just wanted to stop in and just see, uh, I wanted, I wanted an update on the giant pizza cooking. Ah. See if you maybe did a giant hot dog cooking. I did not, no. Yeah. Also, you are looking at, that is the wrong day. Uh. Oh, the, that's, it's not school day today. Fuck, it's no, Crystal No, school Chronicles. day was two days ago. You're, now you're king again. Now, well, no. Now I'm not. I'm done being a king. It's time to be Ooh. evil. Uh, Ooh. eviler. Oh, a proper monarch. Yeah, now I'm a dark lord. In the Ooh, next game along. Me. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I need to quickly do... a bit of, uh, thing. Right, what the hell did Panda say that Pat Captain has to talk about? Oh, you get to pick a topic? Yes. I, I made it so you have to say something. Uh, to yeah. say what I'm going to be having, or what, what the captain's going to be talking about. And apparently, uh, the captain is going to be talking about time to shake and bake and wake and break and ache and lake and take the cake that ate the mate. Okay. Uh, well, Panda, it's not TTS. Uh, you are free to suggest an actual topic, if you wish. 
Uh, or he's just going to talk about anything. I think we'll just ram. Just anything at all. Seagulls! Okay, we're going to be talking... Alright, I'll pass the message along. And he'll talk about seagulls. Right, let's, uh, let's get ourselves over there. <coughs> oh, it's been 10,000 years. Oh, ah, oh. all right. Hello, everyone. I'm back. It's me, the great Captain George of the Lighthouse. It's been a long time since I've been here because for some reason I was locked away, kept aside. Nothing. Right, I, I've got to talk about something. I've been requested to talk about seagulls, so I will. Lovely buggers they are. I, 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 maybe I shouldn't call them buggers, but they are kind of buggers. They like coming up and stealing your chips and crapping on everything and generally being incredibly rude and uh, generally awful all around. Uh, but, you know, you got to love them. They're, 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 they're birds and you like birds, right? You like birds? Do you like birds? If you don't like birds, you probably don't like seagulls. They're not great. I mean, at least they're not the ibis. Fuck the ibis! The bin drinking twonk. Not, not having any of them around here. If I see an ibis anywhere near this lighthouse, I'm gonna kick it right in its gonads and fling it into the sea. Anyway, we're done here. Right. That was uh, enlightening. Did you know that when you that when you, the captain comes, you, your guests get forced into the forbidden zone? Uh, yeah. Well, look. It's the, cold here. Look. The look. There's look. And there the lighthouse is a. My feet. Yeah. Don't worry. I mean, worry. Actually, worry quite a lot. The lighthouse is a the, scary I place. I think I was in the basement of the lighthouse. I didn't know they had basements. Oh, uh, yeah, they can go down as well as up. How do you think, like, the underground boats get in? The underground boats? Yeah, the boats that are under the under the oh, ground. You mean the, dwar you mean the dwarven sea? I mean, sure. And the other things that are there. safe as long as you hide from the minicon. What about the grill? Oh, no, that's not... Yeah, if, if you don't... if you, Yeah, don't go anywhere too dark. We know what happens. We are. To be fair, actually, a lot of people don't. Who many... Who, who's actually fucking played Zork these days? I have played Zork a long, long time ago, but I played it on a graphical text-based game engine. Mm. It was one of the cool ones that could show you the choice words and had like a little compass wheel that you could push for north, south, east, west, and the other oh, part of the nice. direction. And it was, uh, it, uh, they did several games like that. They did, um, uh, some, some, uh, sorcerer games, like the sorcerers in college ones, yeah. I think. Uh, they did some funny story or funny fairy tale ones and a space one uh, that was by like Philip K. Dick, I think. Mm. It's really cool. But they had one that was Zork and it had like actual graphics on the screen that you could click like a point and click or you could do it all text based. It was pretty neat. That is neat. Yes. Panda Panda's got it right. Yes. The Horny Sorcerer 101 series. Yes. That's pretty cool. Mm. That is so pretty what is cool. the difference between this and the King one? A lot. There's a lot of difference. Uh, so, this game came later, obviously. Uh, it is it is a sequel to that, to, to My Life as a King, except it's a completely different genre and has and follows a completely different cast of people. Ooh, okay. It's not a city builder, and it's not, like the first Crystal Chronicles, a party-based action RPG. It is none of those things. Uh, it's more like... Uh, it's it's kind of like Dungeon Keeper? 
Okay. I guess. Okay. It's we it's weird. This game is strange. Uh, but we're gonna. I'm just gonna crack on with it. I guess. Yeah, That's yeah. not the right button. I'm getting used to the controls again because I have to use a sideways re Wiimote as opposed to a GameCube controller. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. In this completely legitimate Wii that I have. There's definitely a Wii. For real. Well, right, yes. World free of miasma, as per the end of the first game. Uh, Mary, if you want to uh, do that, I can move myself over to a different place so you can. The monsters of the land finding themselves in a dire state hold themselves up inside their Dark Lord's massive tower. The tower was once ruled by a kind, just, and extremely handsome man. That oh, man's boy. name was Cradle, the Dark Lord. Uh, by the way, the Dark Lord was the was the antagonist of my life as a king. Oh, okay. The monsters spent their days fighting off adventurers who dared trespass upon their tower, but all good things must come to an end. In order to protect the very monsters he held so dear, Cradle decided to offer his own life, as in what happened at the end of the last game. And doing so, Cradle was sealed inside a dark crystal, and quiet, tranquil days soon returned to the monster's tower. Months and years of bliss passed, until one fateful day when a new Dark Lord was finally crowned! That moment arrived on the 16th birthday of Mira, the Dark Lord's one and only daughter. The Messenger from the Inferno! The Great Cursed I Sorceress! I love it, it's a comical the heart. The Devious Demon of Death! Or perhaps, the Diabolical Hideous Princess of Doom! Cower and fair adventurers, from this day forward, I am the new ruler of darkness! <laughs> and my first order of business, total war between people and monsters! Chapter 1, the war begins! The war over the top. Yes! This is... <laughs> I, I have no hesitation in saying I like this game more than my life's game. But uh It's a kind it, it kind of it's a it's a different flip side on the same conflict. And I like it. Although this does take place later. Mira may have wasted no time boldly declaring war on the world, but truth be told, she didn't know the first thing about modern Dark Lording. Realizing this, Mira swiftly fired off an order to her minions, the Tonberries. But now, Tonberries are the little green guys with the lantern and the knife. Yes! Right? I, listen, I've not played a lot of Final Fantasy games. Like, the m most Final Fantasy game I've ever played was Final Fantasy 1 on the NES, and there's Mary. Mm. <laughs> And, uh, and, um, what is it? Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics for the Game Boy and, mm. uh, for the Nintendo DS. Mm. Uh, was, and, like, so, like, I've seen Tonberries, but do you, what, what's the deep Tonberry lore? Uh, there's People Tonberry seem to be afraid lore. of them. Yeah, alright. Oh, yeah. yeah, feel free to regale with Tonberry lore if you have any. Hello, you Mary. The, like, the lore of them. I mean, I know that's... they've appeared throughout the series. Mm. They're notorious for having, like, for being a solo encounter that you find late in the game who just kind of toddles along towards the party, and if they get close enough, pulls out a knife and immediately murders one of your party members. Yeah, uh, they're hard. They're, they are tough. Yeah, they're very difficult encounters. Yeah. They can just kill you instantly. And they're, they're little adorable green guys in, like, little robes, robes with a lantern and a knife. Yeah. And they'll murder you. They'll just and murder some, you dead. And you have other attacks, each of which are always as, like, game-breakingly, like, awful to be on the receiving end as the 
as the knife, mm. somehow. Uh, Panda uh, does bring up that the Tombri Mansion was one of the early dungeons in the first Crystal Chronicles. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, yeah, they, they were there, and they were slow, and they did absolutely mongol you if you got close enough. Yeah. Uh, um, are we doing the... the the VTuber, the well, PNG If you've got, it, if you've got them for me, I'll do them. I will be leaving in Thanks, just a little just bit. Sort of, I just wanted to stop. Thanks, just sort of I'm, dove I'm in for a moment. Listen, I'm just crashing. I just don't know where to put it. Uh, <laughs> anywhere, so you, look, anywhere you can get it to me, that's all you have to do. There, Yeah, you can either send it direct to BSK, or there is a special room uh, for share your reactives. So you oh yeah, Tombrys. So at least in Final Fantasy VII, the, the the first Final Fantasy game that I really played a lot of, uh, Tonberries had two additional attacks because there was a variant called Master Tonberries who had even more hit points and were even more nightmarish. Uh, their extra attacks being Everyone's Grudge, which is a counter attack where they hit you for an amount of damage equal to the number of monsters you've killed, and Time attack, which does damage based on how long you've been playing the game, and I have no idea what triggers that. I think it's if you try to hit them with a status effect. The filters are very wrong. Let me solve yeah, that. There's, there's, there's no side streams. I'm going to be in a bit of a delay. Well, I didn't. Oh, sorry. I, again, I, I didn't know what was happening. I uh, didn't know sorry, if anybody was showing I, up. Yeah. So. A bit of background here, uh, my computer kind of, like, the the hard disk had a huge problem at the weekend, had to spend a bunch Ooh. of time fixing oh, perfect, it. Perfect, perfect costume for today, Goth Benui. It I actually like ends up being kind of perfect. Listen, this one fits because of Dark Lord. And because of how that. this Dark Lord appears as well. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll get that to you. Hold on. But yeah, I'm having to set up everything again, and because I've managed to, at least I think, fix my hard drive. I hope so. Losing a hard drive is always horrific. Yeah, I've backed up everything that's like truly irreplaceable, like my mm -hmm. own writing, my, like uh, anything that's like that I need for like work reasons or anything, but like it's you know i just have to wait and see if it is, just stays working all right our rabbit win the the I can I cannot remember if you had the Vera the Vera in it. Oh, we should have side stream now. Good, I'm no longer time delay. Yeah, should be all right. Yeah. Dunbury's teach me how to do all this stuff. Uh... So uh, here's uh, eleven Tonbury's. Ah! Oh, it's not yeah. liking this. It's not liking this at all. You may just have to. Be, you may just have to be behind. It's not liking this at all. It's not liking. Yeah. No, it it does normally. It's just right now, just with WiiWare games, it doesn't seem to like it at all. Yeah. Miss. I can get it. Uh, I can stop it go. doing that. There we go. There we go. The pop-ups. Oh, this is the first time you've been in a call. Oh, this is the first time you've left a call. And I'm like, it's not the first it's time not. you've left a call. It's not. It's false. <laughs> Since I reinstalled yes, everything. Oh. Yeah, we'll just have to live with the time delay. I'm not gonna lie, really oh, like the Dark, dark Lord in this is aesthetic. It's very cool. Will you build your castle? Uh, so, 
there is a game with a name that's something like, uh, yeah, you know those games? Yeah. Well, you want to play them, don't you? Now's your Well, try to beat them, or there's some yeah. very long title, and the whole gimmick of it is, it's all of the games you see in ads for mobile games that don't actually like have that gameplay in them like the pin pulling thing and the dungeon thing yeah. where you have to like defeat all the enemies in the dungeon by using like multipliers and stuff and just seeing the layout of floors like that i'm like oh it's exactly like that one like if you've played that game you know what i'm talking I do, about i do know what you're talking about yeah. uh anyway and the yeah. is, ah the best game Oh, this all this busy work is so boring. I want to go beat up some people already. Let's start our dad kingdom first. Yeah. Let's go kill them. Let's kill them. Oh, this is just the, the DLC Spongebob has appeared let's going. Let's kill them. Yeah. All right. Let's get the uh, the oh, Bethesda-esque. Yeah. You've unlocked lots of things the are suddenly unlocking. DLC. Here you go, there's loads of DLC! Yeah. So, for the uninitiated, Fallout 3 like, came with a bunch of DLC on later releases, and one of those DLC was bugged to tell you the ending of the game immediately when you, you, you step out of your, the vault for the first time. Wait, which game was this? Fallout 3. Fallout 3. Uh, specifically Ugh. the... what's it, Brotherhood of Steel was the... The DLC, I think. The, um, the no, there was, the um, no. Yeah, there was the third DLC, which was set after the main plot. And also yeah, fixed and some of the really stupid shit that was there in like, the first place. If, if you turn on the radio... Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you turn on the radio, Free Dog it tells you the events of the final quest of the actual main game. Yeah, yeah. before you've done them. So, yeah. you know. Okay, so so I remember like that, like when you did the water purifier, and it was like, "No, friend, I am a super mutant, immune to radiation, but it is your destiny." And the robots, it's your destiny. I'm gonna do I it. Hear. Yep. And then what actually pissed me off more is the DLC where you do mother mothership Zeta. Yeah. And when you finish it, you plow through it, and you can travel back to the ship. Like you can get on and off the ship at will, and you can even use it like a player home. And then yeah. you go to bro go to the Brotherhood of Steel, and there are no dialogue options to talk about it at all. Zero. Yeah. Like, the Brotherhood would be so on top of this. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, our clothing selections. We've got the default, which doesn't do anything. Yeah. And we've got the Radiant Dress, which allows us to cast Cure. What happens in the mothership stays in the mothership. Oh, that's a nice Apparently, dress. Panda. And then the dark oh, dress, which gives us more negative points. Oh, yeah. Dark force. So we can just do yeah, more. Yeah, that's what I've got equipped. Better, like in this one. Then we have the prim dress, which lets us cast okay. hard slash. Oh, yeah. Hello oh, there, beep boop, says Punkajan. Hello. Uh, oh, that's nice. Then we have yeah, uh, listen, yeah. I'm, I'm the Mystic Dress, tiny which lets us cast I fire. Can really tiny hat. The rest of it, yeah. Yeah, it's very good. What's the Mystic Dress? Which? Oh no, green. Okay. It's apparently from Final Fantasy IV: The After Years. Yeah. Uh, then we're on to the oh, Puffy Dress. The Mystic Quest, the best Final Fantasy. Uh, which lets us cast Cyclone, and is also from Final Fantasy IV The After Years. See, the thing is, I know people who have played Mystic Quest will not say it's the best one. Yeah, I've played it. I would not say that. Uh, yeah, it's okay for what it is. Oh yeah, no, it's fine. Like, it's fantastic just... soundtrack. Very basic gameplay. And then this also raises our negative points by 50. It's from Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Echoes of Time. Mm -hmm. And this is the cat dress? Yes. Oh, you mean Saga 2, says Panda Vivol. I don't this, know this, if I mean this Saga 2. Like character out of, um, out, oh, out right. of Tactics. No, you're talking about the Final Fantasy game. Ah, whatever. 
This look this looks like the girl from Tactics. I forget her name. Uh Yeah. Anyway, yeah, like uh, as weird. much as I prefer the normal clothes actually, because it's so silly. Yeah. Uh every single other one gives me something and this one doesn't. Uh, yeah. Prim dress, prim dress, prim dress. Yeah, go for the prim All right, dress. Alright, we'll go for the prim dress. Listen, that's what I'd be wearing if I was the dark horde. Fair enough. It has seen in my book. I'm not the dark horde, but if I was, but... this is how I'd do it. <laughs> God. And here's one of my favorite characters in this game, Ton Betty. Ton what? <laughs> Oh, adorable. You can't charge headlong into war without knowing the basics, princess. There is much Best to learn. Oh. Alright, I've got a jet. You both have fun. Enjoy the game. And we treat will. the extra treat Ton Betty very good. They are precious. I know, Listen, I will. Like you can head pat Ton Betty, but watch out. Yeah, they they are still. <laughs> you might get knifed. Alright, I'll yeah. see you later. See a tank. The object is to guard the Dark Crystal at the top of the tower and dispatch the invading adventurers. Yeah, the Dark Crystal, we've all seen it. Yeah, and, uh, no and all the uh, adventurers must die. Oh, if... The cr crystal will be destroyed if the adventurers reach the top. Repel all the invaders! And the Dark Lord army yeah. will be victorious! Oh man, this is gonna bug me the whole time that I'm just slightly out of I know, but there's nothing I can really do. Build up an impregnable defense for the tower and oh, fend off those foul aggressive. aggressors. <sighs> okay, so we got a bit of time. Oh no, we don't! Shit, I need to place a floor! You can open the stage menu at any time during battle to pause the action. <laughs> oh, that's the Select place floor and choose a floor to place in the tower. All right. Yeah. Placing floors uses up negative power. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get ourselves some kind of floor. Preferably one that will kill them. Uh... We have the iron ball. <laughs> the purgatory press. Which halves the Adventurer's HP. And the drain chest. Which absorbs HP and heals monsters. Hmm, maybe uh, better yeah. later on, I think. That one. Let's just start with an iron ball. Yeah. And then... Panda... A panda Pibble? I don't know. Can I say the whole thing? Anyway, don't pick up Tondries. And above all, don't shake them. It doesn't make them explode, it just makes them stab you. Mm. Ooh, let's add the Hypno Box. It puts adventurers to sleep. Uh huh. Don't look that up in Fur Affinity. Don't, no. In art. Uh. Any of those sites. You're gonna find exactly what you're you're expecting. Yeah, let's put the drain chest in there. Yeah. Now let's add some monsters. Uh. Let's have a nice generic monster in the starting area. We've got the coal. The Chimera? Ah, we've got room for a Death Knight in here. And a little pirate. <laughs> little pirate. Let's put the Death Knight in here. Ah, I don't have my pirate costume set up here. Uh, then...
Yeah. All right, now let's get something in the other rooms. Um... <laughs> oh, Panda. It's a good idea to get hypno rooms early because the game goes on. The hypno rooms get more expensive. Google hypno inflation to find out uh... more. Uh, of course. Oops. Alright, summon. Uh, let's put another big melee monster up here. You can only get inflation like so a high for that kind of joke, you know? No matter what you type in with the word inflation, if you're not very careful and you have work safe content on, you're gonna see like some stuff that is mostly actually just kind of harmless. It's a bit weird, but it's like, yeah, you do you. Who's level one hero? Let's kill him. Battle will begin if there are any monsters on the floor, which there is. When the battle time reaches zero, the enemy will move to the next floor. Mm hmm. They're dead. We're going to be able to advance up the floors toward the crystal. Add more floors to put more obstacles in the way. Princess, you must add floors above the one the adventurers are on at the moment. Oh yeah, otherwise it won't do anything. Yeah. Here comes some more adventurers. I do like Tom Betty though. That's, that's cute, just adding the, the ribbon. Perish! Perish! <laughs> Dead! Oh, yeah, and making them a posh, obviously. Like, I've seen Tonbury plushies, they're cute. Well, this Death Knight is very good at causing death. Oh, this heals all the time, no matter where they are. That's that's good to know. You're very much the destroyer of all monster on the first level of your dungeon. Good. Yeah, it's just like I just want floor them. one death knight. Yeah, I mean, sure. I want them to die, so yeah. Why not? It's like there probably are reasons to just not lead with your most dangerous monster, but you know. Well, right now, probably there isn't, but there might be later. Right now, no. Monsters. Like Goblin. Dirt. Acquired. <laughs> yeah, I love goblins. Goblins, zombies, a ghoul with no conscience. Everybody knows we're controlling all these monsters. Anyway, we've gained 45 karma, whatever okay. that's for. That's Squatch Mothman. Sorry, uh... <laughs> they, they don't let me guest on on albums anymore. Uh, I just keep, like, naming every monster in the monster manual whenever it's my turn. I see. Right, we now have monsters. All right, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Upgrade. This screen is where you can spend karma to upgrade your monsters. Oh hell oh, yeah! Goblin it's the Crystal fish. Chronicles I Goblin. And you don't want that. Smack the enemy about and win lots of battles to earn a wealth of karma. Yeah, so yeah, I remember these bouncy goblins from Crystal Chronicles. Love them. Yeah. <laughs> we got these 
I'm, I'm sure we have plenty of love goblins on tank server. Yeah, they were around. Yeah, there are a couple of goblins. Fine. Uh, so they've got these big clubs. We've got these ogres. These saber-tooth ogres. With very polygonal hammers. I can't actually yeah. see the monsters. That's because they're, they're in the way of us. Shit, we're and in the way like, of all the monsters. We're in the corner here, and I was just like, oh, we're never going to see the monsters. We're it's not like, ever never. going to see them. I'm I not guess. ever going to see the monsters. You're just not letting me see them. No, none of the audience is I joined is your them. stream about being a dark lord, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I can talk about all of these fancy RPGs and Isekais and stuff. And you're like, no, you're not allowed to see any monsters. Well, it's not entirely my fault. <sighs> Alright, hold on. If I move us, that should solve the problem. Yeah. Uh, eh. Uh, Change places. And then I go... I had more of these available, I swear I did. All right. uh, <laughs> We're gonna be in the way, no matter. Yeah, Matthew. there's this me. Is like a UI that yes. uses the whole screen. Yes, we're good now. I think we're all right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, time to show off some monsters that we have so far. Yeah. We have these bouncy goblins. See the bouncy goblins. Yeah, they're bouncy. Yeah, I've caught up with the stream. You got this lovely ogre. Yeah. There's Gigas. Bouncing and misbehaving, as goblins are wont to do. For more information, Google bouncing goblin. And then Cain, yeah, I think, not from... Suggestive enough. You know, Cain from the Bible. Yeah. Them. You know. The biblical Cain. You know, the, the one in the, the taxi in Bloodlines. Yeah. Now, this is Cain. He's like a dragoon from one of the, yeah. the Final Fantasy games. I couldn't even tell you which one. I was uh, going to say, like, Final Fantasy 2? Then we got some uh, ranged monsters. We got this thing. Oh, Aramon. And then this! And then Abaddon, whatever that it's is. It's got lots oh. of limbs. Love that design. It's a lot of limbs. Going what on there. Wins. Uh then we got our magics. Uh our, our fish person of the uh of the game. Sargin. Yeah, they just simplify the spelling of it. Mm -hmm. Also simplify simplify the pronunciation. That's a Sargin. Yeah. It's not a Sahuagin yeah. or however you Sit, you're and there's a tentacle. I don't know what the modern pronunciation is. It is at last the day of the tentacle. For more information, Google Goblin Bouncing Tentacle. And then we've got Palum. Palum. Who is from one of the Final Fantasy games? Yeah. Uh, we've got Lamia. Yeah, I think it was one of a pair of twins of, who were. Like, mages of some type. Oh. Melania. Uh, then... That is a good Lamia, though. Mm. Got cool. That's snake people. Aww. Look at that cat. I like that cat. Yeah. Is that this is the this is the chimera. It's the one that I believe was from the first Crystal Chronicles. Yeah. The Death Knight. It's a very unique chimera. It's just yeah. 
Of which, uh, of course, fame of killing night. everybody in the last level. Yeah. And you just put that on 4 1. Yeah, because. Yeah, fuck the those night. adventurers. And the little pirate, i.e., the player character from The Man Who Is a King. Yeah. It's literally them in their eye patch <laughs> outfit. Yeah. Um, so, okay, sure. I mean, if you if you got the assets, you reuse them, you know? Mm. Yeah, but that character appears in this game. <laughs> They're in this game! Oh. Let's, let's cause a time paradox by killing them. Prince says, expanding the tower lets you build more floors and makes the battle that much easier oh, for you. Type Onbury expansion. Oh, uh, I don't have a hundred karma, but it's good to know that my floor limit is currently five, and if I spend a hundred karma, it will be ten. Yeah, that's fine. It's good to know. Might as well just get on then. Begin. Princess, try to summon monsters to your floors. That's what we did. Okay, we need to place some floors before the, uh, in this pause mode before the adventurers show up. Yeah, it's like building your park before you open it in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yeah. Or just pausing the game and building an entire hospital and theme hospital. Like you say, Rome wasn't built in a day, but it was built with a pause function. <laughs> we'll put that one at the top. The Abyss Crane. It takes them back to the bottom. Because, <laughs> you know, I guess I'm an ass. You know what, Goblin? We'll let you, we'll let you have a go. Alright, goblins, just this once as a treat, you can get killed by the, the low level adventurers instead of them having to fight the Death Knight. <laughs> yeah, sure. I think we'll just have to let that go. That's probably enough. I'll get more uh, negative points as the train is all the adventurers die. <laughs> right. Here you go, goblins. Let's see if three goblins are as good as one death knight. The answer is no. Oh, but, uh, but the... Come on. Oh, no. Oh, they there got him. Okay. They got him. They got him. Yeah. It's just that the longer they take, the more possibility another adventure will appear while this one's here, and then they get to bypass the floor. So really, I want them dead as quickly as possible. Oh, look at that active time battle system. So yeah, this game is also not available anywhere anymore. Oh, hey Mental Marsupial. Hey Mental! Language. I mean, guess, guess what, says Mental Marsupial. What? What, Mental? What? What news do you possess? Give us your news!
dead. Yeah, we're just like uh, building an evil tower that murders everyone who enters. Yeah. Don't mind us. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just normal activities for a Dark Lord. It's normal. I do it all the time. Oh, nice. Oh, shit, he got Medicaid. Congratulations. Damn. Welcome to a slight vestige of a civilized society. Yeah. Whereas we're losing that slight vestige over here. Yeah. Hey. Dead! They are... They have perished! Yeah. Hooray! That iron ball is on a fork. I just noticed. Giant evil cutlery. All right, 49 karma. Nice. Yeah, so, yeah. This, this, as, yeah. this game is, as, as with My Life as a King, is a WiiWare title, and it was only ever a WiiWare title, and it's never been released anywhere else. So, it you can't get it. It's not available anymore. So, uh... My only, uh, suggestion... Uh, Play it however you can. Yar har... Fiddle dee dee. Speaking of... Where is... Uh, and, I don't you know, know just... Captain. No, it's only once per stream, isn't it? Uh, there is... It can be activated oh, cool twice. But only yeah. once per person. And there is quite once a time link yeah. quite a time limit between them. Yeah. I didn't want to do it too much in one stream. Yeah, it's like when you were doing it as the the thing during adverts mm. you were doing it like twice a stream. Like three or like yeah, two to four cool. times a stream. Yeah. Uh, which cool. I could do. Have and a drink. I, I I'm honestly quite surprised I was able to ad lib that much. But, uh, yeah. yeah. And often, like, pretty funny. Yeah, so I knew I wanted to bring it back. So, yeah. I worked on it. The, um, the animation for it coming in is not finalized. Uh, I was going to be working on it with, uh, someone. I understand there's lots of shit going on at the moment, so it's it's not important. Anyway, let's 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 keep killing all of the all of the people. They need to die. Eight adventurers, eh? Okay. Also, I don't have enough karma to unlock anything, so might as well More just get on. More information on Ace Adventurers, type in Final Fantasy IV. That is for the eating uh... people thing, not the number four. This joke is cancelled. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's it. The joke is The joke is removed. If you watch this in the future, that section won't have been there, so you won't know what we're talking about. Right. Uh, yeah. Let's George put... going to blur me out. I'm just going to put a press have... there, because I think it's oh, funny. I don't even have that anymore. And then we'll put the ball there. And then we'll yeah. put a support one up here. Uh... Yeah, the Void Fountain. We'll cure them. We'll, 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 we'll be nice. Right, let's get some monsters in here. Now, there are no monsters that can be put on the previous floor because it's, the whole floor is full.
You know, let's give you Ogre a go. Ogre can have a go. Uh, is that like a a room that helps the heroes or what? It helps us. That uh, helps you. Because I was going to say, hey, put that on the ground for let the heroes heal up and then kill them as soon as they leave. But if it's for us, yeah, it makes sense to have it higher up. Let's get it. That's Tentacle. A episode. Three levels up. And then, and them. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, uh, this. There's a there's a weapon triangle. Uh, melee is strong against ranged. Ranged is strong against magic. Magic is strong against melee. And there's generics. Yeah, that's right. And we've got healers who never attack people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we'll put the Death Knight up there because we can. Mm -hmm. Oh, nah. Keep getting the controls mixed up. All right, we're good. Let's get him. So can you Ooh. only build upwards? You can only build can upwards. Build, like, yeah, you can't like build in a new, better ground floor later. I mean, on. I can. No, no, I can. I can go in between, if that's yeah, what you mean. Okay. I can. I can put oh, a floor in between other floors. Should I wish? Yeah. Okay, that's what I was wondering about. If you could only put them on the top. You can put them in the middle, though, so if you really screw up, yeah. Yeah, if I really I screw up, I can slip something but in if I need to. Yeah. For some reason, every time I take, like, any quiz about it, or any time other people are asked to assign me an RPG class, they always give me some kind of healer. But you and love then, like... causing everyone... you love causing death and mayhem. Yeah. I'm like, you have not played in any of the Blood Bowl tournaments, if you're thinking that. Mm. Alright, let's watch them get crushed in this press. Yeah. Oh no, they're attacking my press. Yeah. That's where you print your newspaper. Oh, here we come. Here comes a level two. Ooh, it's in trouble. They're dead. Oh, here comes two level twos at the same time. And we're about to lose this this floor. If another adventure enters the floor already being fought over, they'll move to the next floor. Yeah. Hydraulic press YouTuber time. See, I know you mean like YouTubers who put things in the, the hydraulic press, but yeah. I was thinking like, was there a YouTuber who was famously crushed in a press? Oh, I need to add a floor. Like, oh yeah, Mr. Beast probably did that to someone. Seems on brand for him. No, I'm not, I'm not letting another floor, I'm summoning MONSTERS! Alright, so we've got some... melee coming in, so I need magic in here? Today we're lowering Mr. Beast into molten metal and he's giving a thumbs up. <laughs> That would be great. Love that. I'd love. I'd watch last that. Last video ever. I'd absolutely watch. Not just the last one of his videos. The last video ever uploaded to YouTube. Yeah, YouTube ends at that point. Yeah. Yay! We yeah. win. All jokes aside, like I don't have a like massive amount of hatred for him it's like you know what at this point sure do whatever
66, that's almost my favorite number. Yeah, 67. 67, nice. Ah, we got a we got a different reward in this one, the dark dresser. I guess that's a floor. Oh well, um, I uh, I'd want to upgrade a monster, but I can't really. I need at least two hundred to do that. So I guess we'll just continue. Our move, our tower moves on. Right, now let's stick an iron ball in there first. Oh, they've added a little crusher now. Don't do a guillotine stream, we already had one of those this year. Then we'll put the hypno box ah. there. Listen, mental marsupial, we still have a royal family here. Yeah. We need those guillotine streams. We do need those. Yeah, we finally found out what the what the actual thing was that the royal family were keeping from everyone, and it's like, oh, why didn't you just say this? I haven't been paying attention. Yeah, like people were just making all these jokes about, yeah, she's clearly photoshopped into these pictures, and it turns out, yeah, she was. Okay. Yeah. You, you don't care what why she was, but you know. <laughs> yeah. We'll put the Chimera in the sleep chamber. Oh, tucking in the Chimera. We'll put the and Gigas in there, because... Yeah. I love the Gigas. It was over. Winston loved the Gigas. God, it is Winston in 1984, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's been a little while I, since I've read it, I've but yes. I've read a couple of times. Mm, people should read it. It's and not like it's long. Go, yeah, it's not that long a book. No. Whenever people go, it's just like 1984, isn't it? It's like, no, it's no, it isn't. not read that Have book. you read the damn book? There are things that are just like 1984. Yeah, there are, there are things we can legitimately compare it to. Um, but, uh... Yeah. People use that too flippantly, I think. Yeah. Because, like, 1984 did predict a lot of things. Mm. Like, George Orwell did know what he was... He did know what he was on about. about. In that instance. Mm. I mean, he was hilariously wrong about a lot of things, but mm. it's like, yeah, you know what? He did the best what he knew at the time. Wow, these adventurers. I just love coming here to die. Yeah. It's like, man, there's not even any treasure in this dungeon. Why are you here? They're here to destroy the tower and defeat the Dark Lord! Yeah. Uh, but, uh, well, no. I'm here to wage war and kill. Oh. Hmm, I need to just do uh... Thanks, Don oh, Betty, for the encouragement. Okay. I'm gonna turn up the mic sensitivity for video tube because I'm just realizing it's not picking up times when Discord is picking me up. Oh. So it's like Ah, so you probably want it to go a little yeah. higher than that. Yeah. Like I said, this is like having to wipe 
well not exactly wait a try, but having to wipe a lot of the, the settings that I had for things. Oh dang. Uh, yeah. Well but hey. Not the worst <laughs> computer job I've ever had. The adventurer so. turned up in the room and immediately died. Yeah, incompetent not ugh. Incompetent heroes get put in the marching machine. Mm. Bad and naughty heroes get put in the God, what is that? The... Like the the roller thing. It's like Ah Ooh. Yeah. Mages! The Ukes are arriving! Right, yeah, that's that's what this species is called. Yeah, like, I like them. Yeah, it's like the the Ooks as opposed to the Sames. Weird magic gas creatures. I like them. <laughs> Bonk. Dark Dresser Floor Acquired. Nice. There was some black mages among the adventurers this time. Those cowardly mages use a magic that simultaneously assails all monsters on the floor. Adventurers will attack in different ways depending on their jobs. The way you deal with these adventurers will become very important from now on, princess. Select information on the stage menu to view the adventurous attack styles. Okay. You know, it took me a moment to actually go, wait, what dungeon are you talking about in Oblivion? And then I'm like, oh yeah, that one. Yeah. Imagine this game that you get put in charge of Zedillion. I don't remember that dungeon. At all. <laughs> I have no idea where that, what that is. I think it's been like 20 years since I played Oblivion or it something. It's a dungeon with a whole bunch of traps in it that you activate to kill a bunch of, of guys mm. that are going through it. Oh, I see. Alright, we're going to see more types of adventurers now, I guess. Yeah. Let's... Well, that's settled. We need to play Oblivion next. God, I have We do not need to play Oblivion. I do not like need to do that. Hours. Okay, well, uh, let's see. I don't have enough to upgrade the Goblin. Don't have enough for that, don't have enough for that, don't have enough for that. Yeah. Do I have enough for any of the generics? No, I do, have, I do not. Like, the kind of games where you build a dungeon, because obviously... Well, yeah, you know, that's... You know, it's... That's kind of my thing. It's, it's one step away from building a murder house. Yeah. It's just a really tall murder house. Ah, maybe that's why people wouldn't come around to my house. Anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I do love games that like, you do stuff like that, like Dungeon Keeper being the classic one, but like, you know, even card games like mm. Boss Monster or uh, the, the Dungeon Warfare games, which are also really fun. Those are more about, like, you're not setting down monsters, you're just building traps. And you're just, like, doing a tower defense thing with them. Well, I'm going to put the press in Those first. It's actually really good. Because yeah. that... Yeah, because that halves it right away. It halves their health immediately. It's a good first one, you know? Yeah. Then I'll put the iron ball. And... Then the new one, the dark dresser. Monsters take less damage. And then the hypno box. Probably yeah. enough for now. Now let's get some monsters in there. Mm -hmm. 
No one can go in the press room. <laughs> yeah. I this wanna, is a big pressure. I want to put a bit of everything in the ballroom. Yeah. This is what the song Ballroom Blitz was about. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, he takes up two slots, that's fine. Yeah, uh, I have three in this room. But I want to get kind of get a bit of everything, so I'll put, uh, it's gonna be... Let's put the ogre, I like the ogre. And... Ariman. <laughs> ah. And the tentacle! So, fun fact, in the... God... <laughs> I'm blanking on the... On the name of the guy who made the... Oh man, I looked this up. The Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit animated movie. Uh... Oh, Bakshi? Yeah, Ralph Bakshi. In Ralph Bakshi's uh, Lord of the Rings cartoon, like... The they rename Saruman to Araman. Why? Just because they thought, oh, it'd be confusing to have a character called Saruman and a character called Sauron in our movie. And so they just like, after recording all of the dialogue, just lopped off the S at the start of every time his name is said, and they missed some of them. So that is a movie. It does indeed have Araman the White. I see. Mostly, he's sometimes not called that. Yeah, being Ralph Bakshi movies are also like heavily rotoscoped. Yes. And the 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 jokes about the Balrog clearly being like clearly wearing like very visible slippers. <laughs> Because I guess they were. Yeah. Get in the press! Yeah. Yeah, he... He was one of the... Like... He was one of the people who really leaned on rotoscoping. That he did. Oh no! And the press! Some of, it, some of it does look a bit unnatural, just because it's... Yeah. Some of it still looks fantastic to this day. It's one of those things you, you really have to know how to apply it. Oh, there it goes! Law well, one has been destroyed. You know, I'm gonna build another one. A new press. Hotkeys up. Let's see. Do you want to be a bard? No. Staying on topic with the Dark Lord thing. Mm. So I do still have the the bard, well, troubadour, technically from the Fabled Lands streams that Tank did. Yeah. Mental Marasuprial says, Sometimes you can really tell that the monsters are just dudes in rubber masks. Yeah. Sometimes it just looks jarring and bad. Not quite on the level of how it looks in his other film, Wizards, which... Ah, uh, that movie. If you've seen it, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's most famous for... Its like, well, the, yeah, final the final yeah, that, and deservedly. That is definitely yeah. something to remember. 
Yeah, the, the rest of the movie, you like, it's... Uh, it's mm -hmm. largely forgettable yeah. until after, like, a whole movie of, like, oh, these two wizards are going to confront each other. To get to the end, and the good wizard pulls out a rotoscoped, like, photorealistic luger and just caps the, the evil wizard. Just... Yeah, just blows fucking, him away. Just fucking shoots him. I want to say it's a luger. I don't actually know my guns that well. This is how someone put it, and I'm like, yeah, that's stuck with me. Resolution, just shoot him in the heart. Got through the heart, and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. Bad name. Uh, yeah, well, uh, this is the last one. He's about to be killed. Thank you, Death Knight. For... And it's like, this isn't foreshadowed or anything. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, the gun isn't foreshadowed at any point. It does come out of nowhere. It literally just... Suddenly he has a gun. And he shoots them. Yeah. In this film about wizards. Yeah. Alright, here we are. We have reached a kingdom. Let's kill them. Yeah. Let's overthrow the monarchy. Anti Chekhov scan. Alright, let's get some floors going. We'll get the press first. Because I like opening with that. Uh, then the ball. Oh, okay, there is a channel for dumping the. The links to yeah to uh like video tube stuff. It's fine. Ah let's get some monsters. Yeah. Nah keep Pressing the wrong button. Uh, I'm also thinking of the uh, the No Heroes Allowed series of games for the PSP. It's sometimes also known as Ah, uh, what did I do to deserve this? Uh, God, I I can't remember. There's this giant long name. There's a reason they shortened it. And the reason isn't that the name was long, it's because it refers to the, the Dark Lord by his his name of Badman. And they went, uh, does this sound like a Batman game? Is this false advertising? It's not a Batman game. You're just excavating, like, giant long tunnels underground to build your dungeon. And, like... You're building up a dungeon ecosystem rather than just going like, oh yeah, I'll hire this monster to fight for me. So you're like growing your monsters by like growing a slime, then growing something that eats a slime, and then growing something that eats that. I see. And it's complicated, but really cool. Hopefully the press will be ready. Yeah, looks like it's ready for the next adventurer to get pressed. The original game was released on the PlayStation Store under the title Holy Invasion of Privacy, Bad Man. What did I do to deserve this? And they changed it after like... Oh, when was it? So after a year or so, because it's like, yeah, we don't want to get sued by DC Comics. I mean, fair enough, I guess. You can't be too careful. Yeah. And it's like, I, I can understand. It's a weird, obscure game and they didn't want to take the risk. 
and there are actually a couple of games in that series. Oh no, four of them. They got a VR one more recently. Well, that's gonna, that link isn't going to work because it has punctuation and commas in it. Well, it's a comma and the, the punctuation value for a question mark at the end. Whatever. So you get them, you lure them into your dungeon, and the first room is it's just it's just be our guest, but it kills them. Fail your quest, fail your quest when we put you to the test. Yeah, I fucked up a bit. I need, I need, I'm, I meant to leave the open slot open in there. Deadly treasure chest. Oh well. Oh, it's it's a carousel. It's got a like chocobo going around outside. Yeah, that's nice. What a lovely yeah. evil tower this is. Yeah, we just built some kind of like vertical amusement park. There's a little train! There it goes. Oh, train spotted. Yeah, game improved. Yeah, game... 10 out of 10. Ah... Uh... Okay. If you can afford it, the captain is now available to speak now. I just don't have a topic that I'd want you to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> Train spotted, but not a heroin metaphor, says Fran Opossum. Hey, Fran. Hey, Fran. Welcome to the dark side. We're oh, it's Chime from the, from, the, from the last game. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, guess we're going to have to kill her. Yeah, I guess she's gonna have to die. She's got a Moogle with her as well. Guess they'll have to die. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, let me place a floor. Oh, I'm wrong bringing Moogles with them now. Yeah, I'll put the press in. No, poor innocent Moogle. They're not innocent. They sided with the awful, awful people who aren't me, so they die. Are we talking about fentanyl now? Which I'm informed is some kind of kryptonite for cops. Yay, we win. We win. I have now received scorpions. Covered with scorpions, covered with scorpions, all covered with scorpions. Hey, scorpions! Hey! Oh, we get a fair amount of rewards. Shame is a fearsome foe indeed. Her slow spell is a oh, menace, I'm I must good. admit. There are more status effects to deal with besides that, mind you. You have to look out for those annoying status attacks, princess. Ah, <laughs> right, here are all the status yeah. effects. Don Betty, list every status effect. Thanks, Don Betty. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
HP drain. With po well, that's what I would expect poison to do. And, uh, yeah. Okay, that's important. Sleep doesn't stop the, uh, the, uh, the gauge. Good to know. Yeah, it just stops them acting. Hmm. Monster adventure cannot be affected by multiple effects. If another is is effect, another status attack is sustained. The old status is replaced. Okay. You don't want this now as death sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. Yay! Red princess! Hmm. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. Oh. What's the meeting of this Todd Betty? These people aren't carrying in fear at all. They're celebrating. <laughs> this is outrageous. What is going on here? It would appear the, uh, shall we say, humorous appearance of our tower has set up a festive atmosphere down below. I'm trying to drown the world in terror here. This isn't supposed to be a party. Who needs this ridiculous looking tower? This isn't what I asked for. But you need the yeah. Flying Dark Lord Tower, my princess, if you wish to conquer the world. Yeah. Okay, we have a name for our base now. What are you talking about, princess? The artifacts of flaws you use, the monsters you summon, indeed the tower itself. They're all creations of the power housed in the Dark Crystal! Ah, no, this is one of Dad's schemes, but he's laughing at me right now inside that stupid crystal of his. Uh, as happened at the end of the last game. There's only one thing to do about this show how scary I am. Right this minute! Perhaps we could face someone famous and defeat him in battle. Problem hard enough, the tales of our brutal Dark Lord will spread throughout all the land. Donberries, go find the most famous people on the planet. Donberries, bring us Mr. Beast so we can kill him live on stream. Yeah, I guess that's that's the gist of this plan. Yeah. I'm, again, sorry for picking on Mr. Beast. I've never actually watched any of his videos. I should just say, like, Markiplier or something that... that is he still popular? Uh, yes? Alright then. LA gangs, let's find Markiplier. So, Fran says, Death Sticks is sci-fi plants for a cigarette or a similar thin smoking tube. Yep. Specifically yep. from Star Wars. Specifically from Star Wars. You know, subtlety is not a thing there. You just take a sci-fi cigarette, call it a death stick, and then that's what they feel about it, I guess. <laughs> My lord, the children- that's people are laughing at you. The children say your tower looks rather penis-y. Yeah. Well, it's I'm a tower! What are you gonna do? It's the tower with the, like, top of it, it kind of opens in that manner. Evening? Is it still the town building game? Oh no, we're building an evil tower to take over the world from. Yeah. We're the Dark Lord now. Yeah, we're, we're now the Dark Lord with a big flying tower of evil. Yeah. Uh, it is a sequel to the last game, so mm -hmm. we're following on from that. What they found for her turned out to be one of the LA gangs. Okay. Following the rumors, the service tracked down the country to the legendary home to the striped brigands hideout. Everyone in the Listen. land, young and old, was in Oh! Ah, yeah. these are characters from Crystal Chronicles 1. 
mm -hmm. we're going to go beat up. Everyone in the land, young yeah. and old, was enraptured by the tales of the elusive gang led by the Selkie Beldad. Yeah. If Mira could defeat this world renowned bandit force, word of her prowess would surely spread like wildfire. With an earnest heart, Mira embarked upon the search for the striped brigand's base. Ooh. Yeah, so Fran says, can we admit that George Lucas is a hack? And I'm like, no, George not Lucas, really. for all of his flaws, didn't write the sequels, which they had no plan for. Like, at all. You watch those movies and you go, oh yeah, somehow Palpatine returned, why what, not? What, Lu what George Lucas needs and had during the original trilogy yeah. was someone to tell him no. Yeah, he needed an editor. He needed someone he to say, no, stop yeah. that. That's someone silly. Saying, yeah, this is unfilmable. Like, or this is filmable but would suck. Why are you doing this? Yeah, like, he had that. That's how, like, Star Wars happened. That's how Star Wars happened. Have you, have you, have the... you seen the original pitch? Have you yeah, seen it? Yeah, it's really it shit. Star it's really bad. C24. But, you know, with, you know, the intervention of other people, the idea was, you know, refined. Yeah. And it became that. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened with Empire Strikes Back. God. Yeah, even Return of the Jedi had that treatment. Mm. Like... The prequels, no one was willing to say no, no. to him. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's the problem. Doing. And you watch those movies and you go, oh yeah, this this is George Lucas when he doesn't have someone saying, Looking at, ah, yeah, doesn't have someone going, hmm. What? Uh, Why are you putting this in your movie? <laughs> anyway, this is the scorpion. Yeah. It has two tails attached to its claws. Yeah, that's not how scorpions work, but sure, okay. George Lucas needs the colors, says Panda. Listen, are we gonna, like, be talking about colors on stream again? Like, this isn't a pank stream. To be fair, I've done worse. Yeah. I think the oh, worst. So yeah, just if, if, if you ever want to see how low we can go on this channel. Go to uh, yeah. the, the YouTube VODs and look up the VOD for 101 Shark Pets. Yeah, then, then... that one went places, and those weren't good places. No, they were bad places, that stream went. Oh, that was... That's the one where Pank said, Hey, name, name this shark after me. And, and then, then we, we ended up like, doing weird pet play stuff with Pank, yeah. like, encouraging us. It got really weird. It's, yeah, but it, it was also partially the game's fault. But, yeah, to be uh, fair, it's a weird game. We did do that, then, to Marsupio. Yes, we did. <laughs> we did. That's <laughs> what we did. George Lucas, jizz. Are you giving him commands in chat now? I know what jizz music is. Don't worry about it. I don't know why I know what jizz music is. Uh... But I do. Oh, this is a Seaman style shark game, asks Panda. No, it's not that good a game. I'm saying that in the like. <laughs> I'm gonna upgrade the tower. Let's and, get more uh, flaws. You don't get it that easy, you have to earn it. Alright, I can now put 10 flaws. Nice. Let's just go and kill some people. the length of your tower. Ah, it's no. It's like all the times people were still laughing at you for it. Yeah. So, your okay. Your tower now has a third base. Okay, so we've got some magicians and some generics. Uh, ranged kills magic, so ranged is what I kind of want more. Generic, because it doesn't really matter with the generics. So I want ranged units. Yeah. Alright, let's get going. 
They blew up Big Friend Dan, the infamous Jizz Whaler. Ah, uh, Mental Marsupial says, I wish there were more games Leonard Nimoy voice in his lifetime. Yeah, dude. Yeah. He did do voice work for a couple of games. Like, one of the Civilization games has him voice all the Civpedia entries. Which was so good. That was so good. And that was a good choice. Alright, let's get a naughty press for the naughty adventurers. Ah, I do uh, need to watch more Star Trek original series, you know? Yeah! Like, some of it is absolute dog shit, but... Yeah. Like, a lot of it is just plain bad. It has not aged well at all. Mm. But when it's good, it's really good. Mm. Is a naughty press anything like a breeding press? asks Fran. Isn't it called a mating press? For more information, Google Goblin Mating Press. Or Man from Uncle or Columbo, which all had Leonard Nimoy in them. Hmm. Yeah. Leonard Nimoy was also in Mission Impossible for a bit. Yeah. Anyway, Fran, like, if you want to see what a naughty press is... Well, well, I'll get there. Kills off. <laughs> squeezes the juice out of you. Yeah, mental wire super old is safe. Well, it's the kind of juice that keeps you alive. It's just all of your blood. Oh, Shatner's... Trajectory mm. after Star Trek was a lot less dignified than Leonard Nimoy. Alright, uh, here's, here's the press. So. Here's the press, which yeah. the naughty adventurers will go in and they will get pressed. Notably, in the last few years, William Shatner has mostly been hanging around on subreddits about, you know, very, very heavy ladies. And it's like, you know what, I can respect that. And the rest of his post-Star Trek career... Mm. DJ Hooker, Tech War... Yeah. Uh... Tech War, Shatner Quake. I want to live. Yeah, Boston like Legal, he was in that as well. And I want to do whatever the common people do. Yeah. Tech war is a mess. But how else would the children learn about tech war? Well, I only recently <sighs> learned about the tech war FPS. Which was apparently something I'm going to have to check out at some point. You're going to have to stream this at some point. Yeah. I'm sorry, like, you've cursed yourself with I this know, burden. I know, I know. Oh no! Oh no. I have to build another press. Get in the press. Two black mages! This press is all the way down. I mean, I could have just made endless presses, but that wouldn't actually yeah, kill them. It, it wouldn't be terribly cost efficient either. No, I mean, the first, each one is diminishing returns. I mean, it's diminishing returns, and also, like, they deal damage to each press they pass, so. Yeah, there was more on-set drama than any of them were willing to admit for a long time afterwards. Oh yeah, I probably should place a floor above that floor.
Yeah, not to mention all of the stuff that came out about Gene Roddenberry in the years Oof. since Star Trek. Yeah. He was kind of a notorious skirt chaser for yeah. one. Like, a lot of creative decisions on the show came from him doing things for very skeevy reasons. Yeah. To be fair, no, he never mentioned how big those would be. It was all about the shaft for him. Ah, yep, yep. Scorpion was very good, Tom Betty. I agree. Yeah, that Ferengi thing is known. <laughs> oh, the Ferengi were such a weird misstep, especially early on. Yeah, like... Like, DS9 did some course own. correction. Yeah. But... It came into their own later on in TNG, uh, like much later on. And DS9, by actually having Ferengi in the main cast, kind of salvaged them. Mm. But in their first few appearances, Pretty they bad. were just a like, plain bad idea. Yeah, like they're supposed to be this big threat to the Federation, and they are just. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Uh. I did like what he did with them on the lower decks. Like, there's an episode where they visit Ferenginar, and, like, everything's a casino. Everything. The public library. Everything. And, like, you get a glimpse of basically what happens when enlightened, what, 24th century people go to this planet that has basically nothing they can really recognize, like, in terms of values. And one of them gets addicted to watching bad Ferengi TV. I mean, that's it's yeah, all right. really funny. Like, it's, it's genuinely hilarious seeing what Ferengi television is like. Let's get ourselves some monsters. Like, he's, he's watching a Ferengi soap opera, and it's like... Half of it is advertising it. Half of it is this weird, like, polyamorous, like... Everyone is... Is secretly in love with everyone else, and it's just like, okay... <laughs> yeah... Good episode, though. Like, Lower Decks is genuinely a really good show. It's, it's a comedy show, first and foremost, but it, it really does capture the spirit of Star Trek. Like, it never feels that they're making a joke at the expense of... Yeah, kind of like regular soaps, but to an extreme... Goblin. You're taking a look at children focused content on YouTube. It's many multiple more ads and allowed by TV metrics. Yeah, actually, one of my friends has a blog where they talk about what they call slop posting, which is like content mills. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. Like AI generated YouTube videos or just the like Spider Man and Elsa stuff that you used to see a lot of. Mm. And yeah, all of that is there to trick you into clicking on it, or to leave it on in a playlist and not realize what's on. Oh yeah, you do actually know my friend then, that's Gusher Bug, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who also talks a lot about a particular, not quite content farm, but like, bad YouTube videos channel called 
well, studio, I suppose, called Part. And one of their series is actually an original series about basically what if the devil was a YouTuber. It's called Black Channel. It's not actually good, but it's entertainingly weird. There's a reason I do everything I can to prevent iPad baby being. Oh, and uh, the ha the Hasbun Hotel one is particularly funny because it got demonetized because it was too close to actual Hasbun Hotel scripts. As in, it, it's full of just the most obscene thing you could put in a cartoon. And... Like, at some point, yeah, that did get flagged and demonetized and taken out of YouTube Kids playlists because, like Hasbin Hotel, it's really not intended for children. Like, I'm not exactly a fan of Hasbin Hotel, mm. or indeed a fan of it at all, but... It's funny to see that. Yeah. It's just this one mage left. There you go. Thank you, pirate. <laughs> oh, so you're saying it wasn't even the actual content, it was the fact that it's taken a popular IP and you got hit by copyright claims. Alright, let's just kill more. Now, as I understand it, this game did start development as uh, a straight-up sequel in the same bent as My Life as a King, but they went, nah, why do the same thing again? So, they did something else. And, uh, you're looking forward to what the babies raised and that stuff end up like... Like, my ADHD is bad enough without having grown up on that. Oh, no, I'm out of NP for now, so uh, we'll just have to let these adventurers get murdered to give us some more. I like, I love getting negative points through killing people. That's great. Yeah, you get those in real life, too. Mmm. Oh, they managed to escape the press! <laughs> they didn't get caught by the paparazzi. But they did not escape the goblin and the large bug thing. Yeah, escaping the press and being caught by a goblin. For more information, <laughs> this stream has violated Twitch Terms of Service and will end immediately. You know, if that ever happens, I will consider it a badge of honor. 
Yeah. I've pushed my luck several times before. Not for those reasons, but... Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna save. Right, yep. There we go. Move the stream onto Pornhub, the only good streaming site. The thing is, if we... If we moved... If we started just moving all of our streams onto there, there would quickly be a clamp down on, like... Like, Pornhub would then have the, oh, actually, we don't want you streaming these things because that interferes with advertisers. Just that that would be a funnier outcome for that particular site. Although, I do hear they have pretty bad... Like, they have some bad stuff going on with that, so I don't know the specifics, though. Consider a Badger of Honor instead, offers Fran. We have cute ones across the pond. Yeah. We do! Uh... British Badgers, adorable. American Badgers, bless. Nah, they're still cute, they're just a lot more dangerous. Well, British ones are dangerous, they just don't yeah. look it. What? Our content doesn't make people horny enough to buy our ads? Oh no. I remember that one very good... There was one very good channel on there. Don't know if it's still there, but it was literally just incredibly wholesome content and that was it. <laughs> American badgers are scrungly. Well, European ones are objectively cute as hell. Yeah, if you see... Badger personas. For the most part, they're European ones. If Chuck Tingle made porn videos, me and my co worker have respectable workplace boundaries. All jokes aside, like. I've read at least one of Chuck Tingle's books, uh, yeah. Harriet Torber, and the bad boy Parasolophilus, and it's like genuinely a very like wholesome, tasteful book. Puts a lot of thought into its magic system, and then you get to like the the T forty dinosaur on human sex, and you're like. To be fair, this is very wholesome for what it is. <laughs> like, if you haven't read that book, you're going, oh, you're joking, and I'm like, no, I'm not. That's that's just what it is. Space Raptor button invasion. Like, the thing is, you could just do, like, oh yeah, I'll just write these books and they will be like minimum effort and then you look at these like you actually read them and you're like he's genuinely a good writer like the joke is enhanced by this being someone who actually understands how to write these genres of books not just the haha funny sex joke one the the like good at writing a fantasy setting, for example. And I wish I had the attention span to read the second Harriet Porber book. Because I, my brain just kind of stopped working for a bit. Goblin, kill them! Yeah... It's like... oh, what was the name of that book? Probably one I can't repeat, so... 
I don't like swearing. Like, I will do it sometimes, but I feel like it just feels awkward to do. So I'm not going to repeat the name of this, but there's a certain one about Abraham Lincoln. I'm going to link if I can find it. It's just like, this is the title that's always stuck with me. But the thing is, it's, one, it's apparently one of those ones that doesn't have much going for it beyond the initial duo. Improved Scorpion and mm. yeah. Goblet. I've improved Goblet. We can rebuild them. We have the technology. Yeah, they're a good cross-section of literary and movie trends. Nobody remembers Pride and Prejudice and Zombies or Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. <sighs> the thing is, you're saying, oh yeah, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, we don't do that anymore. And I'm looking at the, what is it called, like the dark childhood movie franchise or whatever it's like oh Winnie the Pooh is in the public domain so let's put him in a horror movie yeah Mickey Mouse is in the public domain let's put him in the horror movie and it's just that yeah there's no effort to it none at all it's it's the first it's the cheap and easy option it's clickbait yeah in movie form blood and honey was so bad. I'll take your word for it I'm never watching the damned thing Yeah, I'm not repeating that, Fran, but yeah. Recognizable product in subversive format? Yeah. That's about it. There's not much else to it. Let's see how what this does in terms of murdering all of the adventurers. Here they come. Your so panda would it be unaffected by the black hole or by the horse? Yeah. Like what are we sticking in what? Yeah, what's going where? Can you, can you draw us a diagram? Can you give us, like, calculations? Show us the maths. This is actually what they call a free body problem.
Oh, ho ho chaotic awesome. Hey -oh. Yeah, we were just talking about looks at rest of conversation. Nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. Oh, that mage is dead. Yeah, I'm trying to print something, but it's like, oh yeah, my printer didn't ever recognize my computer even before I had to reinstall Windows. Mm. <laughs> ah, it's like, oh, I don't have any ink. Yeah, Fan is completely telling the truth here. For more information, don't Google any of those words. Yeah, just don't. No don't, one. don't. You know what you'll find. Yeah, AI-generated garbage. Free body problem. When a couple at the bar tells you they really like your vibe, but you only find one of them attractive. <laughs> yeah. No, I could do it better off now. <laughs> yeah. Get into the press. Oh, here come some bandits. Kind of just talking about the Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Like that that book, it's like, oh, here's a public domain work that we just put horror stuff into. And it's a novelty because it's got zombies now. The zombie movies were big at the time and they do occasionally come back. Ah, but... Now you just see, oh, it's blood and honey. The, what if Winnie the Pooh was a horror movie monster thing? I assume that's what's going on in that movie. I'm never going to watch it. But like... Yeah, you, you just see the low-hanging fruit of, oh, this, this has entered the public domain. Let's make a horror movie about it. Oh, blew up again. Zombies, Sherlock Holmes, and what's the other thing that always comes back in a bunch? You know, I don't actually know what you would... There's the third one there. The thing is, there are genuinely good zombie movies, but... As a whole, a lot of them are just bad. Hey, only one adventurer left. And again... Most of the, the zombie movies I would say are good are either ones from decades ago, like, well, I say decades, they're ones from, like, the 80s. Mm. Or, yeah, you're right, the good ones tend to use zombie as, like, it's part of the movie, but it's not just the the genre of the movie. Like, it's not what the movie is about. Yeah, they're always about something, like, and they're using zombies as the vehicle for that thing. Yeah, if you're using them as a metaphor for something, even if it's zombies as a metaphor for capitalism, or, like, zombies as, like, 
uh, yeah, the zombies aren't the point, and if you try to make them the point, it's just like, oh, this is the goriest, bloodiest zombie movie. It's just like, oh, uh, that's not what we're here kind of for. Garbage. That's not why we watch them. Yeah. Like, honestly, I would say the best one I've ever seen that technically isn't an outright parody is, uh, I believe an 80s movie, yeah, it would have to be 80s, called Return of the Living Dead. Oh, yeah! Which, like, that is actually the movie that introduced zombies eating brains as a like as a concept like or at least popularized it. it was the first actual major hit that had that instead of them eating flesh or just killing people for the sheer hell of it i suppose uh but it kind of emerges as a fully formed parody of a genre that didn't actually fully exist in that form yet. Yeah. It's... It has a good balance. Like, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on there. It's a very funny movie, but it's also a movie that does lean into its premise to go, Oh, th this would rapidly spiral out of control even when the the main characters are all doing exactly the thing that the audience would go, oh, I'll do this. Yeah. Like, it's a movie where it's, it's not like, oh no, I've done something stupid, and because of that I've let the zombies out. It's like, okay guys, we'll think about this rationally, we'll do this, and it's like, oh god, this has made things worse in a way we could not even have imagined ten minutes ago. And it's kind of a very bleak movie, despite being a comedy, but it has a lot to say about, like, about a lot of subjects. And I'm looking at other movies and going, oh, this is, has nothing to say. Yeah, I could not, like, I just could not care about all of these, like, 2010s ones, like, yeah. I also could not watch any of The Walking Dead, I just zoned the hell out. But, like, the, the whole prepper thing of, oh... In the post-apocalyptic world, I'll bring my knowledge of guns and killing people and stuff, and it's like, this will help nobody. Like, you're gonna murder someone, take their stuff, and then what? You're gonna run out of people to loot, like... Yeah. And it's like... In that kind of, like, in a society radically different from what we have now, that isn't a useful skill to have. Like, hoarding pinned food and murdering people for their tinned food is not going to be a long-term strategy that works for anyone. Yeah. Oh no, are we talking about parents now? Yeah. Oh, Death Knight. End of episode one, they turn to the camera and say, We're the Walking Dead. Yeah, that, you know. It's like a the, musical sting. The, 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 this isn't the, what happens, but, no. you know. Uh, Maybe we were the real monsters. Yeah, Delicious in Dungeon, or Dungeon Meshy, if you prefer not to translate anything. Uh, it does have the, yeah, there, there's no point being the most powerful adventurer if you can't take care of yourself. Hey, hey adventurer, 
Hey, get in the crane. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Yeah. Oh, you got a crane game. Yes. <laughs> oh, bean dad. What a horrible man. Yeah, they're just oh, long-standing thing of, oh, the US government plans for a zombie apocalypse because one, like, outside can't, yeah, maybe this could happen, it's not likely, but maybe it could, but the other... The other reason to do that is it makes you think, Okay, what are the potential results of this? Oh, people getting cut off from centralized government, uh, food shortages, you know, and other things like, yeah, clothing shortages, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a useful, like, for... test case for general yeah. disasters. Yeah, because it's a, it's an abstract test case. In fact, it's like Feng Shui, or however you pronounce it. I'm not actually sure what the correct pronunciation of this is at this point. Yeah. But it's like, you can talk about, oh yes, the, the, the currents of your chakra are flowing through the house, oh, and the mystical dragon here, but like, it actually boils down to, okay, Imagine there was a dragon living in your house. Oh, the dragon is big enough that his wings get caught on caught on this part of the house because the way you've laid out the furniture, it's like maybe you should have your furniture further apart. Oh, this is like too difficult to get to. This is a place that you'd want, that the dragon might want to visit multiple times a day. Why is it so awkward to maneuver around it and in thinking of this abstract being that doesn't really exist you kind of indirectly go how do you make this a livable space for an actual like living person and it's the same principle there it's you you have an abstract test case you go okay dragons aren't real but how would a dragon live in this house? Zombies aren't real. But if they were, what problems would they cause that would need to be solved? Uh, yeah, imparting um, ergonomics we... without scaring them off by telling by not uh, by telling them it's ergonomics. Yeah. Monsters Mew acquired. Excellent. This will fill out the Pokédex nicely. Mm. Oh. Yeah, the thing is, zombie preppers in particular tend to be, uh, not to make assumptions about your dad, but they do tend to be racists. Like, it's the... Oh... If those people come to my house, I can gun them down. It's not great. Ooh. It's not a great conspiracy mindset to get in. Whether or not that's intentional, yeah, it's the threat of the other. Look at this little thing. Oh, yeah, and of course, conspiracy. Oh, it's... oh this is mu. This is a move, yeah. Yeah, I... Oh, God, I... I remember all these years later that in Final Fantasy VII, this is the monster that has level 4 suicide as a enemy skill, which is anything with a multi level and a multiple of 4 has its HP set to 1. Oof. 
It's difficult to get them to do it. You need to do some specific weird shenanigans to set it off, but yeah. Yeah, as Panda says, the other side of it is conspiracy theorists will hear about a disaster plan and go, oh, the government is doing this on purpose. This is what they want. And it's like, if you have a similar mythical problem, you can say, all right, here's a pandemic of it turns people into zombies. How do you deal with this? Oh, well... You wear masks, you stay away from people who might have the zombie virus. You have the vaccine against the zombie virus, and hey, that's that's COVID prep. Not that that was handled well, no, but you know. No, they, uh, they, that it was not. Yeah, partially because it was so politicized. Yeah, zombie virus is realer to them than COVID, which is made up by woke liberals. Ah. NP to power up the monsters you've raised. Okay. All right, let's 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 go. being advised to give them some of that magic crack. Well, I did. Well, we did. I, uh, I did the very definitely good sounding thing of feeding them negativity, and now they're stronger. Well done, Moo, you killed that guy. Yeah. That's what all of my teachers and bosses did. Mm. It made me perfectly well adjusted. Here yeah, come three black mages all at once! Oh wow, okay, I see what the deal is with the Moo. They attack very, very fast. Yeah, they're not that strong, but... They attack a lot. I need to keep track of this. Okay, I think I need to put another floor in. Black Mages. Okay, good. The one near the top has been... The one who's been, uh... repelled. 2020 wasn't a year, it was three years. Sometimes it feels like 2020 never ended. I put the naughty press there. Oh, the wheel! Oh, I, I, I need to wait for this to end. Unless... Yes, that works.
Yeah. The usual, you can always pause oh, thing on the wheel. Suffering. Yes. Okay. Over to the wheel. Wheel of suffering. <laughs> 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 Can't stop the Wii. That is either push ups or crunches. Uh, crunches. Yeah, I think it's just it's crunches. I think it's just onto crunches, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That shook something loose, I guess. All right. Back in. Hmm. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. What I want... I know we don't have much NP left. Such a lot to unpack, I'm not even reading that out. Hey. Like, I feel like there's a pun in there, but I don't want to make it. Oh shit! Okay. Get him. Yeah, see, we've all heard that one. She's rammed it in and it's fixed her, it fixed her spine. 
I hoped all of the, this would fix me, posters. Well, it doesn't matter that floor one is down, because there's no one else coming. It's just this level eight thief. Mm. Yeah, makes it more scientifically valid than chiropractic. The I mean, science, quote-unquote, yes. that taught to his originator by a ghost. Yeah. This isn't isn't us making up stuff for a joke. It's just no. That that's, that's what happened. That's what happened. Supposedly. Thank you, Death Knight, for bringing death. I have won the immoral corset. Awesome. Well. I mean, yeah, Panda, you will. Immoral corset. Big fit goals. Yeah, you would trust the ghost more than the guy who listens to the ghost. <laughs> ah, let's have a look at that item. It raises the negative points at the start of battle. Okay, that's... That's good, we now have a higher total. Can't upgrade anything. One type of undead that doesn't have a skeleton. It's like, I mean... The, most of the ones that you would categorize as that... Like, yeah, you would call them ghosts. Ah... Uh, Thinking of phasmophobia now, which does have a lot of it does have a lot of different types of ghosts in it. That it does. Yeah. Never played it. I mean, obviously, I don't own it. Ah, I have like two games installed on Steam right now because I have to reinstall all of them. It's not recognizing anything I had downloaded. the naughty press down there. No, dip. <sighs> Problem is the buttons are right freaking next to each other and I keep accidentally pressing them. Okay. Yeah, let's slow them down with that. Then we'll get the Room where monsters just spawn, and also there's a train, so I kind of want it all the time. Then we've got the Make Monsters Stronger room. Okay, now let's get some monsters. I fill this room with Moo because they're cheap and yeah. I've upgraded them twice so they're actually not bad and you recruit nothing but cowgirls for your tower go in a room with Moo Now let's let's give a death knight. Let's have a death knight. That'll be fun. Ah. All right. That should be enough for now. Go, level one trainee! Perish! Okay, so if mummies are the driest undead, what's the wettest undead? 
bog mummies. I mean, technically, yes. I mean, I guess, like, drowned corpses. Oh god, now I'm thinking of the Minecraft drowned who are everywhere. Like, if you've played Minecraft since the updates it... Boggy Jonathan! Boggy Jonathan. The wettest right undead. Now, right now. Yeah, the Kelpie. Uh, the, the ghost horse drags people Our into Kelpie's swamp. undead! Touch it. Arguably, kind of a spirit. They've got like a mane of seaweed. There's a chapter of Delicious in Dungeon where they eat one. Yeah, I remember that. I read that. Yeah. Done, weird bug thing. You're doing quite well. There's no way to be a ghost horse. I mean, as we all know, horses are my enemy. So, uh. I hate horses. Worst of all the animals. I hate horses. They're my foes. Whoa! Yeah, if you've ever seen George stream any horror games, you know. Oh shit, I need to place a floor. Uh I couldn't even name them at this point. They're all bad. Yeah, they're they're rubbish. It's like they're not as bad as say Secret of the Magic Crystals. Notorious bad game. Yeah, well, Secret of the Magic well, Crystal was also bad. a horse game. It was a horse game, yes. And a particularly bad one. Yeah, it was... White bad. Mm -hmm. It's notoriously bad. If you know any good horse games, please do tell us. Yeah, so I can not play them. <laughs> no, no, it's not true. I, do, I did play it. The last horse game I played was a good horse game. Mm -hmm. And I went into that oh, knowing that, uh, it was good. The, what's it called? Pocket Card Jockey. Pocket Card Jockey. That's actually I good. I wish I could have seen this stream before, but it clashed with one that I was guessing on. Is it like horses and card games? Yeah, it's both horses and card games. In one game. An inexplicable isekai, says Panda. Oh! I see. Well, we're nearly done with this tower. Uh, we'll we'll visit the captain once we have done so, and we will discover their thoughts on horse games. It's just this one thief left.
Batman anyway. This is there we go. They're dead. George in the Screaming My Little Pony tie-in games. I have thought about that before. If anything, there's going to be more fan games. Oh that. yeah, there's tons of them, and they're them. rubbish generally. Oh, there's awesome. some that are, uh, terrible. you know, okay. At least I guess. some are interestingly bad. Mm. Or yeah, some incredibly of them are, yeah. weird. Yeah. Also, this is another thing where. What was that MMO? What was that MMO out. that uh, fan MMO that uh, Pyro and uh, Cutisphere played? At one time, uh, I don't actually. Lords know. of Equestria, something like that. Lords of Equestria. Oh boy. Uh, okay, well we've won the battle, so we're gonna go. And we're gonna go to a different mm. place and a, and a different time. Off we go. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, you're here too. Although the. Uh, Cut off seems to be a bit weird. I'll have to sort that. But, um, hello! It's me, Captain George, hello. here in the lighthouse. Hey. Once again, I've been told to talk about horse games. Well, uh, I'll tell you what I think about horse games. You know, I'm not much one for them, given that horses do not, uh, move on the sea. That's not a thing they're known for. Except seahorses. Well, seahorses are indeed that, but they're not horses, as it were. Uh, and which makes them a very, very oddly named for such a thing. Yep. They're not they're actually the horses of the horses sea. Where the men can get pregnant. Yeah, well, horses, their men don't get pregnant. Don't see what's related about that. But anyway, horse games. Yeah, well, I'm not much one for show jumping. I don't get. I, I'm. It's not something I do. Uh, and you know, all, all, all. You know, good going on those who do it. And polo, polo's interesting. You get you hit balls with big hammers oh, while on horseback. Oh, you know, oh, that's something. Oh, in the middle of the mini case of mint. That's also true. Anyway, now, now we're done talking about horses, and we're gonna get back. To the game. Their poles are just so soggy. They're no fun to chew on. All right, we're back. I still. Dinosaurs. Do you remember the polo Easter egg? Because I do. Polo oh, Easter egg. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, the polo Easter egg. It's not something that should have existed. I don't think that should exist. No. It's not right. It's not right. Anyway, I just need to alter the uh, filters because I just realized there's, I, uh, the crop is wrong. Oh, it should be good for bones. There we go. Solved. So there's one pony game that I actually like, uh, called Slaughter Horse 2, which is a kind of like so social deduction, werewolf slash mafia type game. Except it's a single player game, you are the murderer everyone is looking for. It's a bit silly to make up for the fact that the premise is so edgy. And it, it's still it's still in early access, they're still releasing updates, and the next update apparently adds like 3D models for your customizable pony, and I'm like, damn, I'm not gonna stream this until after that updates <laughs> game now. I'll take, yeah, that does sound interesting. It would have to be a bit silly to make up for the fact that it's basically a 
you're a murderer in Ponyland thing, so... Yeah. Oh, right. Back to it. Yeah, so it was based on that infamous thing. On originally, yeah, it was a Slaughter Horse One was basically just cupcakes with the numbers filed off. Mm. This is cupcakes with even more of the numbers filed off, but it's genuinely a good game. Ooh. Little side missions. Okay. Go kill this kingdom, I guess. Like, you do play as a baker. You had to name your your pony. And I ended up not naming my one Mary because I felt weird about ponies lynching me to death. I mean, that is a bit weird. Yeah, it's like, oh, and the game pops up. That feels a bit too personal in this case. Yeah, they're still working on the next update. Mm. So we've got Which means I do technically have a pony sona. Units. So I want melee units and ranged units in this dungeon. game in tank server before <laughs> yeah also i'm having trouble booting up steam now because it's like oh yeah verifying your installation and then like ah the files are still there Alright, we're gonna go with this for now. So we got the the the, the 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 you know the adventurer press, uh, a room full of horrible monsters and a ball swinging fork. Yeah. Uh, this is a fork. The chompy the chompy chest and the death knight. Mm -hmm. The room with a mirror that just summons monsters. Yeah. And the train room that makes drops players back to the bottom of the uh, <laughs> bottom of the tower. Yeah, that, that's a good last one to have there. Ah, right, here comes some thieves. Press and a boat to be a matey press. Would a adventure press on one of those old bubble bath bottles? Yeah, that would be a matey, matey press. press. <laughs> Whenever I find a bottle of matey, I do tend to buy it. Yeah. Because, you know, you should. That's how they get you. That's how effective that marketing was. Yeah. You still buy it, even though it's not actually good. That's alright. It's okay, but it's like, there's nothing special about it other than the bottle. I'm not even sure if that's a thing outside the UK. I've no idea. I love this posh Tonbury. Oh! I'm going to need to place a floor above it. Mm -hmm. 
And I'll need to fill it with ranged units, I think. Okay. Die, wizard. <laughs> I'm not saying this to wizards. They're dead. Good. Oh no! Floor one's gone again. Okay. Away you go. Let's put it back. The naughty press. Oh! Dead. Oh no! Oh, well, you get carried back down to the bottom. Blinking an easy bubble bath and also oh I really should switch around my keyboard shortcut so I don't just randomly change. You know what? Trip it over time. Bonk! Bonk! They have been defeated! nice uh, let's say what if the moo got upgraded again okay this one has a mix of Mainly mages, but some melee and some ranged. All right. That's not what I wanted to put there, but oh well. Ah, 
And we'll put in the naughty press because we've got some spare room. Oh, here comes some gladiators. First time. This is actually the first time we've seen melee units from the uh, from the invaders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely none of them have had melee weapons. Yeah, no, definitely none of them ever. Fight. Yeah. He just brought her swords at you. It's weird. No, I assume they just do generic damage. At yeah. least the early ones do, and it's only now that you're seeing... Okay, this is an explicitly melee unit. Oh, three bandits. All at once. Let's just get another oh, press. Oh, in a fight. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there it goes. Here uh, come some black mages. You'd expect the floor falling down would hurt them, but no. No, it doesn't. You're just indifferent to that. Yeah, I need to put something in this room. Out you go. Oh, I'm going to need to put a floor up on uh, the higher level. It's going to be the Death Knight. Help me with pausing death. Oh, I'm gonna need to do it again. Fantastic. Uh, it's the death knight again.
No. All right, that one goes back down. All right, dead. Uh, one left. And there they are. I've got to get through two death knights. They did not get through any death knights. Yeah. Sixty. Hmm. No melee units. Just ranged and magic. So for this, I'd need melee and ranged. Okay. But the melee units are absolutely get destroyed by the thing, so really I should stick with generic, I guess? Uh, what if I upgraded the Moo again? Oh good, they're now fully upgraded, how about that? <laughs> it's your min-maxed Moo. Yeah, I've just fucking gone absolutely nuts on the Moo. The cheapest and fastest yeah. unit. Yeah, that's like that's that's a valid strategy. You've gone all in on one monster who's good at one thing. Yeah, which is attacking a lot, and you know, at max level, probably does respectable damage. I came in like a wrecking ball. Alright, well, let's see how well they do. Then <laughs> back to the start, yeah. Oh, we got a chip on Bob, bro! Alright, I, I've filled it all with Moo, but I haven't upgraded any of the Moo. I need to kill some trainees first. And then I can upgrade them. Moo, they're all yours! Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go... Let's go to check on Votbrow. Let's see what they're up to. Okay, uh... I'm covering up their level, but... Whatever, they're probably still level 60, last I checked. Uh... Yeah. Okay, they uh, are currently placating dispatters uh, by mm -hmm. executing some hill giants. Yeah. And some and Elasmosaur. Yeah, just more murder and, and just uh, 12 Ross monsters being destroyed. A remarkably dangerous foe for Vodbrow, considering he is a motorcycle. Uh, yeah. His HP has now gone past 2,000. He's got loads of HP. Uh, yeah, it's like a lot of adventures. Mm. If you get attacked by a rust monster, you just lose their gear. This just kills the Vault Brout. Mm. Uh, Vault Brout is currently wielding a steely, a steely blunderbuss. So they just have a gun right now. They just have a gun, and they'll shoot you. Uh. Yeah, they looks like they have fairly normal equipment at the moment. Uh, oh, uh, except uh, the whole book appears to just be some plasma that is studded 
which um, yeah i mean i heard one of those is like okay you can have like an energy suit i guess or like it's it's magic why not but when you stud it it gets weird mm. uh and they appear to have some custom gilded automatic brake systems uh which you know fair i don't know how gilding your abs helps but uh well they've obviously found a way or at least someone has convinced them they found a way and then Votbrout bought it. Yeah. Uh, Votbrout doesn't have the most... It does not have the highest stat of intelligence of anyone, to be honest. It's not great. It's not that high. Their wisdom's okay, but... Oh, who knows? Uh, anyway, what? Oh, they've they've done it. They're now delivering an IOU and uh, killing imaginary Beelzebubs. Hmm. And and sick titans. Well, killing the ill and the imaginary. And now some golems made of beer, because I guess. I mean, do you execute them by drinking them? I don't think I'd want to drink a golem. It might still work when inside yeah. me. That would be unfortunate. Uh, okay. Well, well, we'll we'll leave we'll leave him where he is. He seems to be doing okay at the moment. I don't. I, Maybe the beer golem is like the Kool Aid Man. I don't know, Alstin. I have no idea. Uh, only Votbrat would know, and Votbrat isn't telling because they're a motorcycle and they do not have a mouth or mm -hmm. the ability to speak. So, we can't really get any answers out of them. All right, let's get back to uh, killing. The, the you know the so-called civilized society let's kill them let's kill them all yeah taking a break from checking on the vault to just murder people yeah like we're actually now doing a similar activity it's just we're doing it a different way they're coming to us to die This all move strategy seems to be okay so far. It does require a bit more build up. Surpri uh, not, uh, yeah, surprisingly. Just spamming out moves. They, each individual one, not that powerful. No. But there's a lot of them in the attack often. Nearly fully upgraded all the ones we've got. Oh no, the floor!
Yes, I know we don't have a lot of MP left. We're doing okay, though. I mean, look at this. They just died. We're doing okay. We're killing them. You're killing all humans. Yeah. Torn apart by ravenous squirrels. I bet this is how Squirrel Girl feels. Yeah. And I bet that these uh that these adventurers feel a lot like Doctor Doom in a room with Squirrel Girl. Yes. Ah, Marvel Comics. The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl was a really good comic. It was a really good run with that comic, in fact. Uh, yeah, sure I, ha I have a copy girl. of the Omnibus. It is enormous. Yeah, it, it, the the writer for that one was Ryan Nor, like mm. the dinosaur comics guy. Yeah. He's good at writing comics. He's writing the current Fantastic Four run, which is mm. really good. It's also extremely weird, like, even by Fantastic Four standards. Yeah, because that comic gets normally very weird. Yeah. Alright, we defeated them. Hmm. Ooh, that's full of melee adventurers. Mm. I guess I'd have to be uh, going for like magic most of the time in this one. Yeah. It's not. It's not like the last one where it was so much of a mixed group that I could just get away with going. Hey, here's some moo. Yeah. Don't think I can manage that this time. Yeah, if they're specialized in one area, then having just the generic damage isn't really going to be worth it. The more specialized they get, the worse that strategy becomes. Yeah, let's let's upgrade the the Sahagen. Sahagen. Oh, okay. Sahagen deals stun. Yeah, Sahagen does stun. But you can upgrade. Yeah. Right, now, let's start off with the Naughty Press. <laughs> naughty Press. And then the Drain Chest. Of course, we don't have Fran or Pank around to make jokes about the Naughty Chest, because they're all streaming right now on Pank's channel. Yeah! Presumably Bellatro. It's a damn good game. is one of the two Steam games I've actually managed to reinstall. I need to finish re-downloading Hitman 3. I played the hell out of Freelancer mode. Ah, that's the... the Hitman mode with Roguelike elements, randomly determined targets, weird objectives, and it has led to some really... Oh. A fun fact, the pronunciation for Sahagwan is super close to the German for saying brackets, Sagan. Well, I don't actually know how to pronounce it, so that's a moot point. Alright. 
We'll go with this. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but we're gonna go with it. Here comes a gladiator. Does he put a glad in gladiator? Oh, sorry, she? Put a glad in gladiator? I mean, no, I'd rather oh, they were dead. Please. Put her in the hydraulic press. Oh, the hydraulic press is not doing well against them. Yeah, that's a ton of damage to it. But they immediately get absolutely bodied by the next floor. If you're all of the same type, then yeah, maybe that is the, the way to go is to... I mean, most of them are... Uh, like yeah melee, i mean this the spellcaster it's a spellcaster versus spellcaster which isn't it. too bad yeah it's not worse. bad this is not good oh there you go there it goes there goes the uh, naughty press Go, Moo, while they're asleep. Get them. Eat them alive. Oh, I need to put something in that room. Floor one is down. Need to get some monsters on that floor. Uh, need something up here as well. Um... Nope, nothing I can put there. I'm out. I'm out of MP. NP. Enjoy being put down to the bottom. Oh. oh. 
It's the tower that makes you a bottom. Negativity. Yeah. Nick, read some YouTube comments. Most of the ones I get are quite nice. Yeah. Oh, floor three's down. Uh. Oh, did I ever mention that the one guy who started commenting on my Blood Bowl video was going, "Oh." What, you're playing against AI? Why would you ever post a video of you playing against AI? I should be able to learn from your videos. And I'm like, why? dude, I didn't make this video. That's not why we tutorials. made it. Yeah, this is I'm just chilling out with friends and like, yeah. Archiving it. Of course, then, then I went, oh, okay, like, you know what, I'll see what this guy's got on his channel. Maybe he's like some kind of Blood Bowl streamer. And then I looked at him and immediately blocked him because his politics were rancid. Uh, and they're like, oh, I'm not going to achieve anything talking to this guy. Back down you go. Back into the pit. God, imagine having one hit point and getting dunked back to the start. No, I think there's enough stuff to kill them off down there. Yeah, yeah they're probably not going to get through all of that. Alright, let's give them a another thing to worry about here. Right, I need to make more floor. Right, back down to the bottom for you. Oh, and they died. How about that? Start. Dead. Yeah, so the Chuckle Brothers. Yeah. Uh like UK Entertainment Duo in the nineties, who I hope haven't done like something horrible in the meantime. I or, don't think so, know. although one of them has not done heard of. one of them has perished, which is oh, not good. That's too bad. Uh I'm like, you know, with and incredibly fittingly, it's always oh, incredibly fittingly, the other one was one of his pallbearers. Yeah, that's that's you know, I respect that. No, I was gonna say they had a like kids game show called "To Me, To You" Ooh, after their you know their catch own phrase, catchphrase, yeah. yeah, from the show, well, from the Chuckle Brothers show. And the thing is, every time I watched. To me, to you, it, like it felt like every time. Anyway, there was like this board game setup thing that they had going on, right? Yeah. Where you roll dice, you do tasks and answer questions and stuff to you know move around the board. But there's one square which is back to the start. Ah! And the thing is, to me, to you, by its nature, like is has like a seesaw kind of thing, like oh. You're moving towards this, this team winning or this team winning. In fact, to start resetting it, 
because of how slow it was to move in either direction, meant that basically, oh, neither team is going to win it this episode. <laughs> I don't know if they ever actually did. I don't remember any team actually winning it. And I was thought, like, huh, this is a weirdly designed show. It probably wasn't as severe as I remember it being, but you know. The nightmare of shows. No, I think you'll find the nightmare. The nightmare of was shows the nightmare is of nightmare, shows. which was a show on the BBC. Was it BBC? No, it was. Uh, it was on. Like, it showed on CITV. Ah, oh, CITV. Okay, so it was an ITV. Yeah. One. The thing is, there are nightmare video games, none of which really represent the show at all. True. Like, the Nightmare Amiga game has next to nothing to do with, with Nightmare. And the PC game is even weirder. It's some kind of, like, point-and-click adventure thing. Yeah, the show is just a dungeon crawler, and yet the Amiga dungeon crawler based on it is, uh, odd to say the least. And also you can die in first room because there's a minecart that you well, need to ride in. that's nightmare. Trying to, trying to step off it too soon or too late will deal damage to you and it can just kill you. I mean, that is nightmare. Like, it can just completely obliterate the party, and it, it isn't even like a rare thing to have, and everyone who's played that game has been killed in the first room. Mm. It's one of the more difficult dungeon crawlers, somehow. But yeah, the show is kind of just a dungeon crawler. Or an adventure game, and like, it's, it's not... It's not like it would be that hard to translate it to a video game. It really wouldn't. And yet, they never tried. Apparently there's a VR version of it, but like, I don't know if that was an event-only thing or a... <laughs> I mean, I've been to it's Nightmare true. Live. Which <laughs> yeah. was, uh... A performance show thing, and it's very weird and good. Yeah. yeah. Why aren't VR helmets shaped like nightmare helmet? Why aren't they? Ah, uh, yes, the helm of truth. Or helm of justice, something like that. I can't say helm of truth because it stops you seeing anything. <laughs> We talk about Nightmare sometimes over in the BB Gun Show, a uh, semi-related stream. But being that we're both British and all around the same age, yeah. like George is a few years older, but you know. Not too much though. I mean, I, I grew too up much. with it. We're at the same era where we grew up watching Nightmare. We also grew up watching Robot Wars, presumably, yeah. because everyone was watching that at the time. And it's like, a sh it's kind of a shame that it just kind of fell off. Because I want to see what modern Robot Wars would be like if it just continued <laughs> escalating from it. But then you'd probably just have the same thing, which is, oh, everyone has a flipper. Is the optimal strategy. Well, here come some bandits. Uh, it was until they nerfed it into the ground in the last season. <laughs> Alright, Gigas, get ready to punch this bandit in the face. 
Like, we also talk about other less good BBC game shows that probably didn't yeah. make it to the US. Like, we talk about Fightbox sometimes. God! Fightbox! Fightbox. Ugh. Fightbox was an eSport a decade too soon. Yeah, it was. It, it absolutely was way too early for what it was yeah. trying to do. It's like, oh yeah, we've got this arena of all these, of like the crowd cheering on what must be literally nothing because all of the video game stuff was added in post. <laughs> and it's just a janky 3D fighting game which is really blocky and polygon polygonal. Ah, oh, someone has uploaded the whole series to YouTube. It's worth watching at least one episode to see what the hell we're talking about. Fightbox is not a good show. <laughs> it is not. It's just got this weird mix of what would become like esports in the future, and also the like '90s. Oh, everything has to have attitude, kind of thing. Oh. Ah, Blockbuster. A game where everyone has to ask if they can have a pee. Yeah. I like Blockbuster. Yeah. It's certainly a game show that exists. The Robot Wars host also hosted a weird show that was like four-way VR deathmatch where they were all on multi-directional treadmills, says Panda. I genuinely don't know what show that is. Robot Wars host, uh, I'm gonna guess Craig Charles, well, he was even if he most, wasn't. He was the guy who did it most, most of the it. time. Like, if you say Robot Wars host, that's who you're thinking of, you know? Albert Zoe did not recognize P, please, Bob. For more information, Google Water Sports. Uh, Alright, I've unlocked a new floor. The Poison Harp. Yeah, and Ghostwatch, and also some obscure show called Red Dwarf. Yeah. I actually liked the... the... most of the last couple of seasons of Red Dwarf, like the... the ones they kept making for... the channel's still called Dave, right? Mm. Uh, Alright, the more monsters like, on the floor, the less likely mm. enemy can add hit on the artifact. Which will protect, like, the floor's existence. For extra insurance, place monsters that have the guard ability as they'll actively protect it. Place vertically when facing off multiple enemies. Bring lots of ventures at once, spread your monsters evenly. Build an adventure person with some null adventures that we've been doing. Okay, yeah. did like the last couple of seasons of Red Dwarf, like the ones they kept making up until a couple of years ago. Yeah, I they were quite good. The last one was. Like, just maybe one episode I go, eh, I'll skip this one on a rewatch. And it's more just because I don't feel it was as interesting as the other ones. Mm. Uh, it's kind of retreading ground they'd already done. Yeah. But there's some good episodes in there, you know? You know, I'm I'm free I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this. I think mm -hmm. I think I'm good for now. Yeah. Discover the tower's secret. I'll discover the tower's secret. Now the time I'm I'm feeling oh. good. I'm feeling like I'm done. Oh, okay. You mean you're feeling the stream is over. I'm feeling no. like the stream oh, I'm good to go, go for another away. Hour. Yeah. I'm done. I think I'm That's good. That's fine. We're we gonna raid Pank. Uh, well. <clears throat> what? Well, I'll have a look about what's going on. Yeah. 
let's get ourselves over to uh because i i'd have to refresh to see who's actually streaming pank some people you definitely don't know uh, anyway thanks for watching everybody yeah uh let's have a look see what's what uh Got some Borderlands 3 on Chunky Funky. Madam Universe is doing a podcast of some sort. Uh, Ashbell Arrow is doing Sonic Adventure with Mental, which oh, actually yeah. is a that is Sonic one I'm Adventure. that's a high that's a high one for me. Uh, Goblin Hugger is doing where the water tastes like wine, which I have not I never got around to playing. And uh, yeah, Pank's doing Bellatro, and I think. Uh, friends over there as well, but yeah, and Uzi, by the looks of it. Yeah, but actually, I think I want to see what Ashbell's up to yeah, on I'm Sonic. Ah, Sonic Adventure, very janky game, but incredibly janky game of all time. Yeah, it is a game of all time. It's a game that, like, everyone has fond memories of it, even if a lot of parts are just plain bad. Mm. It still manages to be fun. Yeah, it's still fun. It's like being completely insane sometimes. <laughs> yes. Uh, right. Uh, I, right things in the future. I'm yeah. probably going to be on uh, a Guru Bears architecture stream tomorrow, uh, where we will look at rich shit houses, and Man, also some in, also that, some but... insane houses. Probably. Yeah, these streams are always really fun. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm, well, I'm going to say unfortunately. Yeah. No, I, I'm... I'm on a stream with Dark Wizard James Mason tomorrow over yeah. on YouTube. We are playing Shovel Knight, apparently Plague Knight's campaign. Mm -hmm. I never know why James picks the game she does. Let's go. All right, and we're out. Of, we're nearly out of time. So just say something Very when you're there. I can't be bothered with the message. Just pack the metrics. Say something. Bye. You say the word something.